back to fire this game is Miss Ben Sarah with Sunio with Harvest of Tea. So last time out the kid had to run in with Coco again. So I'm kinda of starting to think it might actually be a hologram like Sora instead of a ghost, because that seems kinda of dumb. But who knows? Hopefully we'll find out well, sometime soon. But aside from that, uh, we also got to spend the night in the decompression chamber where everyone kind of lost their temper with Takashi and doodled all over his face before Sora called us back to the control room for what I'm guessing is some bad news. So, uh, yeah, let's pick it up here. I'm sorry that I have to gather you so early. There's no other way. Actually, everyone, there's something I need to tell you right away. Sora paused for a second. Sora looked over all five of us. You, Sarah, Skumi, Takshi, and finally me. The cooling fan whirred away in the silence. Occasionally, the sound of metal on metal would ring through the room. The five of us waited on Sora's next words. Last night, after the four of you, apart from Skumi, entered the pressurization chamber. ここからの脱出方法やガイブへの通信手段について考えていました。あ、そのコントロールでやっていけばウェイスエスケープコンタクトアウトサイド。そして、and、レミオナの状況を一つ一つ調べていくうちにある事実が判明したのです。ワラシ
もちろんあくまでも推定ですから誤差はありますが of course it is only calculation there is a margin there プラスマイナス12時間程度それが誤差の範囲ねプラスマイナス12 hours is that the margin there ははいそうですが that is correct but that pushed us into silence it seemed like everyone was lost in thought we knew for sure that we were in serious trouble Sora's words had shaken us a bit but five days sound like a long time and it really didn't register with me I kept thinking that a rescue team would arrive at any time so I didn't really feel that it was worth worrying about Sora can I summarize what you said to make sure I got it <laughs> at 4.30 a.m. on May 7 the walls of the mule reached the limit of the pressure that they could handle but that might happen at 4.30 p.m. on the 6th or 4.30 p.m. on the 7th is that right so far? Yeah. Yes. So, doesn't the opposite also hold true? I mean, at the worst, the meal will be fine until 4.30 p.m. on May 6th. So, we're fine until then and nothing to worry about. We can't be absolutely certain that we'll be safe. But, in fact, if we look at the result of the results, we'll be safe. But judging from the results of Lemon's calculations, that would appear to be the case. Oh, so that's it. So, as long as help comes by six, then we're okay? So, that's it. I see. I feel uh, my parents said we only have one more day or something. I might have burst out crying. So we still have lots of time. Someone will surely come help us before that. The tension in the air broke and sighs of relief could be heard around the room. Skumi had begotten the information somewhere before, so smiling herself smugly. It was 5.50 a.m. Oh. Takshi gave a large yawn. Surprised no one punched him for that. Sarah and I sat cross-legged on a bench in the rest area. The floor was covered with water. Ah, that was good. Gojisan-san! Ah, see? Rui had just polished off the fried chicken sandwiches that Takshi made for us. As for the other four, Sora was, as usual, cooped up in the control room trying to make contact with Lemmy. Skumi had vanished without saying where she was going. Takshi gone to deliver sandwiches to Sora and Skumi. He was changing clothes. Apparently, she had spilled something on them while eating. Fortunately, her normal clothes were safe in the changing room in the dry area. Hey, I'm full now. Why don't we play a game? A game? Um, the game or Sanmoji Shiri Tori? Yeah, the Yamanote and I game are working. So that. I know, rock, paper, scissors, charades. You play, the money gets to choose something. And then the loser is to make it, okay? Say no, chicken feet! Ready, shot, kick, point! Just, just a bit, just a bit. Come on, put your hand out. I haven't said I'm gonna play. I was a junk employee. Uh, it's what you say when you play rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, as to whether, whether or not you're gonna play, you are. There's something you can decide. Oh, be quiet. Now let's play. Not doing anything is boring, right? Alright. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. So Okay, here we go. Say no Ready? Jump him boy. I was paper and Sarah went scissors. Yeah, I've won. Do you okay there? 
お題はね so I pick サバ salmon salmon you, you mean like a fish?、うん、yep それじゃあ張り切って行ってみよう so let's see it salmon 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 I open and close my mouth like a fish, gyrating my hips around and doing my best to become a salmon. <laughs> Sarah was laughing and holding her stomach. It looked like I'd been a good salmon. <laughs> Alright, now I'm warmed up. Let's go again. I went scissors and Sarah was paper. <laughs> I lost. Onegai! Onegai da kara! Henna o dai da sa nai deo! Don't give me a weird one, okay? Peace, peace. I decide to make her act like. I、uh, like Minnie Mousy. I'm not entirely sure what Caesar's supposed to be, but that's alright. But, according to the guide here, we're supposed to go with the spoiled baby. I'll have you act out a spoiled baby. <laughs> oh, I might be good at that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. Alright then, Sarah Matsunaga becomes a spoiled baby. Oku wa Iwan! Yummy wa Sarah. Mmm, Miroku ga tsumetai yo! Your milk's cool. Chanto hito hata ni atamete ku na kya. I won't you get milk unless you warm it up to body temperature. Uh. Sorry, so I can't remember what babies are like, so I don't know if that was close. And then. What are you doing? What are you doing? You appeared in her changed clothes. Yeah, we're, we're playing rock, paper, scissors charades? Janken mono mane game? Are you playing rock, paper, scissors, charades? This sounds fun. Can I play? Yeah, sure. So I'll explain the rules to you. Okay, I got it. Alright, then let's play. Yummy, junk, and play. Just then, the lights illuminating the room started to flicker. Instinctively, we looked to the ceiling. Listen carefully, I heard a sound like the rumble of thunder far away. No, no, no. What could that be? Uh, I have no idea what's supposed to be going on here. Maybe tiny waves formed in the water pool on the floor? We'll, we'll go with that. Walls and ceiling trembled slightly. Metal screeched on metal. Masaka. No, please. Don't be what? Hora, Kino no Shinsu no Tokito ni tena ni iko de. Doesn't that sound like when the water. Uh. Wait, that was a weird sentence. Doesn't it sound like when the water flooded in yesterday? The blood appeared to drain from the faces of you and Sarah in the flickering light. Immediately after that, we were blanketed in darkness. The tremors and sounds stopped, but an eerie silence filled the area. Only the emergency light showed weakly. The blackout. It's a blackout. What about everybody else? Where are Takshi, Skumi, and Sora? Sora. Sugumi and Sora. De, Sugumi a doko ni? Well, where's Sugumi? Sarah and I shook our heads in darkness. Tony kaku, Kuranari to Sugumi o sagashi ni ko. Anyway, let's go look at Rikutakshi and Sugumi. Sora wa? And Sora? Sora wa. Eh, Sora is. Ima wa ni no. Let's not worry about her for now. What? Hanashi wa ato. 
I'll tell you later. Looking for these two stop by Odie right now. You started running. Sarah and I followed her without knowing what was going on. Until we arrived in front of the control room. The power was out, so the door didn't open automatically. You pulled the lever next to the door and opened it manually. The three of us went inside. Takshi, Sugumi, do you have an answer? You shouted out into the darkness. I wondered why she was only calling out to Takshi and Sugumi. Sora, Sora. I called Sora, but there's no answer. Sora should have been here. I wonder where she could have gone. You picked up the flashlight at some point. I imagine she got it somewhere in the control room. You turned it on. A white circle of light appeared on the wall. You shine the flashlight right and left, lighting up all corners of the room. The electrical system is completely down. Like an abandoned castle, there's no sign of warmth left. There's clearly nobody there. Doesn't seem like there's anyone here. We left the room. Yes. You handed me the flashlight and shut the control room door. Just then, Well, we heard the sounds of someone running towards us through the water. After a short while, two figures emerged from the darkness. Oh, Takshi! Sugumi! Sugumi! Takshi and Sugumi approached, walking through water. Hey, have you seen Sora? Uh, I thought she was in the control room. It was empty. Uh, really? Takshi used the manual lever to open the door. He looked inside. Uh, do you want a flashlight? Ah, thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Sakshi took the flashlight, turned on, and went into the room. Ugh, jeez, where does Sora go to sound like this? Sakshi said that when he emerged from the control room. So, what are we gonna do? You said this calmly. It had been a series of emergencies since the day before. Maybe we were all completely used to it. In any case, none of us were freaking out. For now, all we can do is split up and look for Sora. Without Sora, we won't know why there's been this blackout. Yeah, Sora knows more about Lemieux than anyone. No, Sora. ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。ソラ。
What? I'm not going. Okay, they've got these massive shock looks on their faces, but she's got this little smirk. If you want to go, be my guest. Saying that, Sugimi left. It didn't look like it didn't look like it'd be any use calling after her. Ugh, jeez, I've no clue what's going on in the girl's head. Oh well, the four of us left to go. Nakyo-senpai, Nakyo has a generator in it. The generator room is here at Jetstock. Alright, let's get a move on. You can you lead the way. So now she started walking towards the corridor. Hey, Takshi, where do you think you're going? Uh, where? There's a generator, of course. It's your idea to start with, right? You must just ask her to lead the way and then proceed to walk off. Just how do you intend to get there? Huh? Uh, by walking through the corridors, dummy. Oh, please. You really don't get anything, do you? Uh huh? What's this supposed to mean? Hey, you, I don't think I get it either. I don't think I get it either. I don't think I get it either. Uh, you guys don't remember the map of the movie site yesterday? Map? Map... Map, ne? Map? Map... Map... It's got the control room over here. Eh...to... Tashika, the third map was... The area was split into two areas. Oh, you mean the three-story map that had the area split into two areas? Oh, that's right. Can you remember it too, Takshi? Awesome, the generator room is in this uh, flooded out section. Uh, I can't say I remember exactly, but kinda, yeah. It was between those two areas. What? What? Between them, how am I supposed to know? Hmm, I don't think there was anything. So, exactly. Which means? The two areas are divided by a block, which is now underwater. So, そう。制御室のあるエリアから発電室のあるエリアへは直接移動することができない。can't go directly from the control room area to the generator room area. Besides that, the emergency stairs in one of those areas was also flooded. Meaning what? Oh, I get it. Let's get to the generator room's area. We have to access the second floor. And the only way we can do that is by using neutral points elevator. So, we have to go to the... To the entrance to the neutral buoyancy elevator. That's right. Now that you've got it, let's get going. Ready, set, go. Sarah took bizarre kung fu pose and started spinning like a top. But I had no clue what she was trying to do. Before going for repairs, we had to secure tools. And when the four of us descended from Spider Stock, we stopped by the warehouse first. Fortunately, we found the tools we needed right away. Pliers, a spanner, screwdriver, hammer, small welding machine, etc, etc. We packed all the tools we imagined we might need into toolbox and headed for the ne uh, neutral buoyancy elevator. The neutral buoyancy elevator, I. I meant egg in German. 
It was also a literal take on the egg-shaped elevator that traveled up and down rails into the ocean on the side of the moon. A ballast tank was attached to the core. It would take in or release seawater from the tank as necessary to increase or reduce buoyancy, thus making the elevator rise or sink. Well, once we were inside, we sealed the watertight doors on the Lemieux side of the elevator. All we had to do was release the lock connecting us to the Lemieux and the egg would sink away. Lemieux pulled the operating lever next to the door. Except there's no power, so why would the operating lever work? Nothing happened. What's going on? Russ is thinking all. No, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, do you think it's because the power's out? The Ayo thing is neutral point sale thingy, so it basically doesn't require to take power. But if it does need power for the intake and release water for the ballast tank, this is the only time it needs power. But we're in a blackout right now. So there's no way to control the ballast valve. Is that a problem? Yes? What's that? Ah, uh, great. So that means we can't move this thing at all, then. That's stupid. That's wrong. You're supposed to be a college student? Uh, well, excuse me. So put it in terms I can understand. Hi, hi, sensei! Teacher, I know, I know. Hi, Matsunaga-kun! Wait, Miss Matsunaga? Matsunaga? エレベーターの操縦量が浮力を上回れば沈むと思います。Right now, the buoyancy of the elevator is exactly balanced with the elevator's weight. So, if we make the elevator heavier, it will outweigh the buoyancy and the elevator will sink. Wow, good wiki too, what brains! I'm more surprised that Kid Man should remember something like the Archimedes principle, but not what year it is. You patted our heads as she praised us. Smart, smart girl. So the reason I won't sink yet is it's not heavy enough, right? Yes, we need to find something heavy. We split up and went in search of the of things we could use as weights. And several minutes later. Apparently, whatever that noise meant, girf. I don't, I don't even know. It's fine. Sakshu was carrying a massive pot, uh, planning pot. <laughs> you brought a plastic ornament. And I brought a magazine holder and a bunch of magazines from the security office. And Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, that's... What in the name of... Sarah was dragging a massive tuna. What happened to that? It was in the quota over there. I guess it probably washed out from the kitchen fridge during the flood. It's alcohol, but it's okay, right? So the four of us packed ourselves into I, cradling a frozen tuna, headed down to Drizzok. 
I began to inch down ever so slowly. Peeking through the window and into the blue, we could see the outside of the mew. The blue gradually got darker and the steel bulkhead appeared to move further away upward. We were silent during that time. What was there really to talk about? No, actually, you did say one thing. Wait, wasn't catching dolphins for food and understanding that Shichini? It seemed that he was having trouble with the difference between a dolphin and a tuna. No one tried to answer. I decided not to think about anything. Fantastic. Alright, well, that actually feels like a good spot as any to come call for today. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.